A very good day to my lecturer, Dr. Uwais. My name is Vityashni Sivanesan, matrix number S56185. Today, I'm going to talk about the hydroformulation. So, what is hydroformulation? Hydroformulation is one of the most important examples of homogeneous catalytic processes in industry. During the course of hydroformulation reaction, aldehydes are produced via the activation of alkenes with the principal metal used to catalyze the reaction is either rhodium or cobalt. Homogeneous complexes of rhodium and cobalt are the preferred catalysts for this process because of their high activity and tunable regional selectivity. But however, um, rhodium catalyst is preferred compared to cobalt catalyst because rhodium catalyst has an advantage where it has a higher activity and selectivity even during mild process condition. So today I'm going to talk about the formation of butanol via hydroformulation of propene using triphenylphosphine modified rhodium catalyst. Okay, so this is the cyclic mechanism for the hydroformulation of propane. So looking at reaction 1 here, we have compound A and also compound B, where compound A is carbonyl hydrido, trace triphenylphosphine rhodium, and compound B is dicarbonyl hydrido, bis triphenylphosphine rhodium. So these two compounds are present in equilibrium with each other. Moving on to reaction 2, we will have the hydroformulation of propene, which is initiated by the loss of a carbonyl group here. A carbonyl group is lost to form the 16 electron species complex C here. Then, from this complex, a propene will coordinate to form the pi complex D. From pi complex D, a migratory insertion into the rhodium hydrogen bond will occur to form a rhodium propyl complex which is species E here. So as you notice here, the propyl is now attached to the rhodium and the hydrogen that was attached earlier is no longer attached so it is being removed. So now we are moving on to reaction 5 here. A carbonyl group will be added to the rhodium propyl complex. So from the complex here, rhodium propyl complex, we will add carbonyl which will then form the species F or also known as species that has an 18 electron intermediate. So from this intermediate, we will have a migratory insertion of the propyl to a carbonyl group which will lead to the formation of species G or also known as the acyl intermediate. So from acyl intermediate, we will have an oxidative addition of hydrogen. So this step, reaction 7, is also known the rate emitting step. So the oxidative addition of hydrogen will form a 18 electron rhodium 3 plus species. And from this species, we can finally obtain the our final product, butanol, via reductive elimination. So the reductive elimination of species H will give butanol and the rest of the complex will return to the initial complex which is species C. So this is the overall process of hydroformulation of propane which will yield butanol. And these are the references that I've used in my studies. So that's all from me today. Thank you, Doctor.